<clears throat> hey YouTube, how we doing today? Uh, it's been a little while, so I figured I would do an EDC update because uh, I forgot to do one last month and I was trying to do them for a year, so let's get right down to it. So, first things off, we're going to go right off the wrist. We're carrying the Casio G Shack MTG 900. I lost this one, I replaced it. This is the new one. So, that'll be the first one I'm taking off. Uh, left pocket, we got the County Com stainless steel the MC pen. I've been carrying this every day and using it at work, so that's been a standby. Also in the left pocket, we got the uh, Leatherman P4 uh, Squirt S4. Been carrying that one for a couple months now. Has a few nicks, nicks in the paint here and there, but for the most part, it's a user knife, so it really doesn't bother me all that much. Uh, let's see. Back left pocket, I've got my Streamlight Stylus Pro. This is the one with the C4 LED. Excuse me. Uh, the C4 LED. I've been carrying that one as well in the back left pocket. This one's got some wear on the uh, right on the bezel, but it's nothing that you know I care about because it's. A user knife. It's not for collectability. Back left pocket, I've got the County Com Nyla wallet. Still using that. Still loving it. Uh, I'm not gonna show you what's inside because I haven't been. I'm not prepared, and all my stuff's still in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and not show that, but put that on the table as is. So then we're gonna go to the right front. Today was the Benchmade five five one. Reptilian. It's definitely got some wear on it. The tip's done. I mean, I gotta get it resharpened by Benchmade, so. Um, also, in the right pocket is a Zippo. I'm carrying this one recently. And I got a Z Plus insert for butane, so I can use butane now instead of lighter fluid. It uh, definitely. It's more cost effective because a can of butane is a lot cheaper than lighter fluid, plus you don't need to refill it nearly as often. Uh, then on my waist, on my belt, I'm carrying my HTC Incredible 2 in a uh, OtterBox case because this thing has been in it since day one and the only damage it's had so far is the uh, there used to be a little latch that held that down, held it open, but that broke. So Other than that, that's really all the damage for that. Uh, that's all for the EDC on my person. Up next, we're going to go over to the Remora. So let me go ahead and get you a zoomed out shot of what's actually on my person at most times. So it's not really that much. Uh, as It's not as much as some people I've seen carry. But for me, it's pretty much all the tools I use every day. So it's really no, no big deal for me to carry all this stuff on my person, especially in, you know... I work in khakis and slacks, so for me it's comfortable to carry all that. So up next we're going to switch over to what's on and inside my Maxpedition Remora here. Start right on the outside left pocket here. I've got the Maxpedition uh, mag sheath one, which has houses the Leatherman Wave. I don't know if I have a review on, on this or not. If I do... Go check it out. I might annotate it in the description. If I don't, I'm going to go ahead and this will be reviewed soon. Oh, I just went off. It can wait. Uh, left side here, it's, uh, it's a coast case. And actually inside it, I've got a stainless steel sharpie right on the left side there, as you can see. And on the right side, or on the on the body side, it's going to be a all stainless steel parquejado with a space pen insert. <clears throat> the light itself is a Coast uh, Coast HP7 if I remember right. Coast is uh, the cheaper brand of lens or lights. Uh, it's advertised just to, just over 200 lumens. I got the thing somewhere but I probably lost it. Well, um, I mean it's got 200 it's got a real nice hot spot on it actually isn't focused at the moment. There we go. I mean, it's got your high load, which is 207 lumens, and then you got 
uh, low mode which is about 20 now what's nice is is if you go ahead and you put this out to flood there's no hotspot there's actually no, there's actual no hotspot until you start to focus it and to focus the slide is actually very simple it's just uh, slides forward you slide it forward with your finger and then just twist it to lock it down I usually keep it focused because I'm using it at long range usually to me make sure okay yeah that's the uh, HP 7 runs off of four triple A's uh, this will probably have a review of after carrying it in my bag for a couple months so that's all I carry on the left side there er, my right side right side when it's on my back Thing. sometimes Velcro doesn't want to behave but right on the front I've got um, two Grimlocks to match the bag. I do hang stuff off these. A lot of times I'll have my uh, one liter Nalgene hanging off of one, using my right side because I have this slung on my right. Right in this front pouch here, we are uh, we're carrying my Zycar Tribal X1 cutter for my cigars and whatnot. Great cutter. I I definitely recommend getting it if you smoke cigars. Uh, right in the front pouch here. Um, probably seen videos on the, organiza oh, the organization of it, so I'm not really going to go over that as in-depth as other videos. Carry my sword in here, which I use primarily for food. So I just keep that right in one of the, uh, the straps here for cinching. I also carry cobalt, um, the torque set, it's got T5, I think 12. It's got uh, 8 and 6, which is most knives. Uh, key keeper here actually has all my keys on it apart from my house key or no my car key I have a car key on here Because in the winter my car gets cold So I'll actually walk out start my car and then I'll lock my doors and open it with this This is my house keys uh, House slash play keys these here are my work keys For, our, for our two different stores, so I have these both on quick releases So if I need to go to either place I can just grab these and go Though in most cases, wherever I am, this bag is usually with me. So I leave them right clipped on, just thrown right in the pouch there. Before I throw those in, I am going to pull out what else is in here. Got the um, the bit extension and the bit kit for the Leatherman, which uh, I got for the Wave, but it does also work for the Skeletool. I do have one, I have tried it, it does work. He's usually just thrown right at the bottom there. It's all for that pocket. Uh, now, now right on the Velcro patch up here, I used to have HMFIC and then A positive. I threw on the the EDC forms patch because I'm definitely up on there. It's definitely a great place to go if you need any gear, any ideas, anything like that, and blood type. Behind the patch here, there is a there is a space. I don't have anything in there at the moment. Um, let's go into the main pouch now. I'll spin this around for you guys actually because it'll be a little easier for that one. I just came home from a friend's house, so I so this stuff is all out of order, but I got a universal USB charger, extension cord, and my phone charger. I've got a case of cigars, which these are actually kind of old, so they're starting to dry out and they get real hot real quick. And just a notepad to take notes, just uh, standard staples, one subject, back pocket notebook. That's right in the, right in the front. Times like this is one flat. That's a pen. Back left. There we go. I'm just starting to throw, change stuff up how I'm carrying. So this flashlight wasn't where it usually is. I keep it right in that front pouch, right in there, right in this one here. Um, and then I uh, just loose in the bottom here. I've got a a monocular from. It's a quote unquote high gear monocular. I got it from. Um, EMS a while ago. Also in that same pocket in the back Velcro portion here, I just have a cigar tube with about uh, eight or nine AAA batteries because all my lights use AAAs. Usually also in that pouch I also have my phone charger because I work nine to six most days, ten to six, whatever the hours may be. And well, it gets pretty boring in the winter where I work, so keep that in there to keep so I can plug my phone and keep myself occupied um, other than that there is one other thing I carry which I have to get out of my uh, my 
small portion back here. Just let me make sure everything is, yeah, okay, everything's in there. Let's go ahead and close up that pocket. The last thing I carry, if it's not on me, it's in the back pouch here, which it's not. Okay, that is definitely peculiar. You give me one second to... No, it's probably my jacket. Hang on. Give me a sec. There it is. Alright, guys, I got it. Alright. The other thing I've been carrying recently and wearing has been this here, the E. It's a buff. One, actually, from EDC forums. I, um... I got on there a couple weeks around a month or so ago I actually registered but I've been lurking for quite a while and it's called a buff and uh, there's plenty of ways to wear it, it'll come on something like this you can wear it as just a bandana, neck scarf, headband, a skull cap, hood, uh, mouth mask I guess you could say um, you can wear it as, as the, as, um, 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 the balaclava, and Pirate tells you how to do them all. These things are great. Y y you can find them for, like, 20 bucks, and they come in all different styles and whatnot. Usually I wear it as a skull cap, but, you know, if you're not wearing it, you can always just take it. And just, you know, and just do one of these and put it on your wrist and continue about your day, and no one will know the difference unless they ask about it, but it's nice as there's no seams or anything like that. I might review this, I don't know. Uh, let me know if you want to see a review on it. If you do, I'll do one, no problem at all. I just don't want to do a review on something that people might not want to see. So if you do want to see it, just uh, throw me a comment, throw me a message, do what you want. Just let me know, I'll be happy to do it. Uh, other than that, guys, it's about all I carry for most days. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to comment, question, ask, message, whatnot. Uh, again, I appreciate your time stopping in to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys coming in. Oh, uh, just a side note on the embassy pen. The only problem I've had so far, I can show you on my sleeve actually, is that it's not that it doesn't slip onto most clothing that easily. Most times, it'll slip right by it. Sometimes you'll get lucky. One thing I've been doing is I just, as I slide it in, I just grab a hold of the clip and I slide it over the pants and then I press it down. That usually seems to work pretty well. So guys, that's, uh, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon or evening whenever you're watching this video. If I don't make another video, I hope everyone, uh, if I don't make another one before the holidays, I hope you enjoy the rest of your holidays. And uh, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, life's short. Stay sharp.